a doozy episode this week. House, I don't know. House, yeah. I don't know where to start. <laughs> so much things happen in this episode. Like, oh god. Um, I mean, I guess we can just start in, oh, as they uh, as they've come. Um, so you know, last we left off, all of the dolls were uh, locked in this room, and the their shadow familiars were were taken outside into the garden by Edward, the proctor of this exam. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was pretty cute and fitting, you know, that uh, Emilico was the one that, through kind of her non-sophisticated manners, found that initial, you know, piece of the puzzle. Um, so, so that was really fun, and, and that was kind of a, a feels-good moment because, you know, everything leading up to there, we were kind of worried for her, where it's just like, oh, man, like, she can't get her shit together. Kate's panicking that she can't get her shit together. Um, so I think that was, you know, really fun and kind of an interesting way to bring all the dolls together, regardless of kind of their Didn't opinions. Didn't we, like, call it last week, too? Like, we, we just, we call it that everything is so sketchy. And basically, like, yeah, I think the sh- masters are led out to the garden and they all got trapped or caged mm-hmm. or whatever. So now the shadows will find them. And then, yeah, like, the, finding the, the, the sweets and, like, the, the key or whatever is part of the trial. So... Yeah, um, and I think we we got more kind of background behind, I think it was either me or Taylor that were talking last week of, yeah, Edward and kind of, you know, we're seeing more of his kind of sinister look on like other living dolls where he gave the background of why Patrick was dropped down a peg and they kind of explained that the reason was, you know, Edward started playing music and then Patrick kind of just arrogantly assumed that that meant that they should start dancing with their shadow house familiars and and edward was further kind of having his monologue of just like yeah. like you know oh i'm i'm the i'm the best like i can't look bad here and like none of these dolls have like failed my tests yet so he's just like trying to sadistically get them to fail in whatever like, way he this can. this episode really like showed off his bias like that i mean we were like we we're uh, already mentioned that last week but like it really showed this week when he really wanted kate and milko to fail because he thought they were an easy target so so it's all just well, tying more together yeah and then we learned this week that he specifically wants Kate to fail, though. Like he's specifically yeah, planning she has a, everything a around for a reason. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought, I just assumed that it was because he thought they were easy target. I guess it could be other reasons too. Yeah, no, I, I don't think so because there was a line that was like specifically along the lines of Kate cannot be allowed to like mm-hmm. move on from this or oh, something. Okay. I can't remember. I, I remember that. that. Um, okay, because I, I remember I was like, oh, okay, so you really. <laughs> Okay, so you have a point here. He kind of reminds me of... You guys have both seen Death Parade, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. He kind of reminds me of that Arbiter, the one with the red hair, that would, like, just put, like, the the the, the idol and his fan, like, through hell with his oh. test. He never had any intention of, like, having this be fair or anything. That's kind of what this guy reminds me of. Like, he is... He, That's a good, good comparison. Like, I don't really understand... I really want to see how he fits into like the hierarchy of the house because it seems like he's just allowed to do whatever he wants to do. Yeah. Well, well I'm interested I mean, in seeing also the. Oh, go ahead, David. I'll just say at the end there, it sounds like the 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 masters like were seeing through Edward and his bias. So I don't know if they're gonna count towards yeah, that too. If that's what I was gonna say. I'm, it was interesting to see the masters' different kind of perspectives mm-hmm. as well, where some of them are kind of you know more biased in the mindset of Edward of wanting people to kind of fail, and then you have these others that are just like. Like, rooting for them in, in those regards. So like, I wonder still if, like, if the conflict. masters, yeah, I wonder if the masters are over override Edward in his decisions because they saw how biased he was being. So, but, so I just again like this is one of those steps, this these shows this week that I need the, another episode because like <laughs> that ending man it just left me so much questions and I need more. I feel so bad for all of these people being tested because my absolute least favorite thing is not knowing what the parameters are, like what the rules are. Like, I, <laughs> right. I like in my own personal oh, life, I you hate I was being put through this. I would be losing. You hate my those mind. those tests for like, oh, hey, class, think outside the box. Here you go, oh, a full creative no. freedom. <laughs> Pick your own subject for your final paper. God, no, just give me anything. I don't it's care. It's literally just like a psychology <laughs> experiment, and you don't know what's going on. You're so like, oh, I feel. Fuck. I'm feeling pretty like high key stressed through these episodes for that reason. Like I'm just expecting the worst at every turn. I don't know what they're like, wh- what they have to do to do well. You know what I mean? I've and we're starting to see some of the things that they're doing that they're getting downgraded for, but I don't think we know, know quite yet what they'll get upgraded for. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, um, I, think, I think the main is just like you just have to re- represent your master. I think it's the main part of it. We don't know how being judged for that, so. We'll have yeah. to see. 
Yeah. Um, I think the last thing for me was uh, I just really, uh, again, enjoyed the character interactions between, I guess, both, you know, the Living Dolls and the Shadow Masters, because we did have the one scene with John and John, Kate, and Kate. John, you know, very obsensely asks Kate if he'll marry him. Hey, man. And, even, and, you know, she kind of gives her snarky response. Even he did get rejected. He's still Chad for, 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 hey, man. for taking a chance. He's got, he's got balls for sure. Um, and then I, I love the interactions between um, Lou and Patrick, where, you know, Lou's <laughs> item of choice were those like super oversized pair of shears. And she just comes, you know, out of nowhere, horror esque style into Patrick's uh, <laughs> lane. And, and she has her moment of like, hey, if you try to pull anything funny, like I'm going to chop you up to pieces, too. And I'm just like, OK, Lou, like, damn, you're kind of you're kind of dark as well. Like, I did not see this coming from you. Um, and then, of course, you know, again, Amilico just being that that cute, comfy character and, and having that scene with uh, Rum where they push mm -hmm. the, the carriage up the hill together. Mm -hmm. and, and Rum finally speaks, not using uh, the finger as mm -hmm. kind of the method. So that was cute. And uh, I can't I can't help but feel like some bad stuff's going to happen to Rum. And then that's going right? to destroy Amilico as well. I've got that gut feeling as well, too. I'm really here for the friendship between Rum, Amilico and John. Like when John congrats. Er not congratulated but just like basically encouraged Emilico earlier with her item choosing <laughs> everybody's like you're so stupid and he's like no it's okay you got this or like i think he also <laughs> congratulated her when she figured out the puzzle to get out into the maze um mm -hmm. so i'm really here for that friendship and i'm very scared that you're that we're right and that rum something's gonna happen with with rum not everybody can make it out somebody's gotta get axed unfortunately yep. but i thought this was a slice of life um <laughs> a very very dark slice of life it's one of those things where it's like oh this is fun this is great and then wham they're gone and you're just like oh my god typical that's, slice they, of life they did this. yes <laughs> that's that's like the last thing i want to reiterate like how again how creepy the show is because my god like the shots with like the the winding the winding like pathway of like the garden or like when um earlier when they were showing uh the zoom out from the window of, and like some people watching and then also like yeah that scene with like with uh with like Patrick or Ricky, I can't remember which who was oh, yeah, Ricky, but, yeah, but Ricky. Yeah. like when he was when he was in by himself in that one like like long pathway, like and there was like no music playing. He was like turning around. I like half expect like a hand to come out and like and grab him by his <laughs> mouth and like pull him like back in the hedges. Like that's how creeped out I was by that scene. Definitely, and that's and, I, and I, I did I did get like almost jumped by the fucking scissors because I was expecting <laughs> I was expecting a hand to come out and like grab him. So. Like, my God, this show, like, is creepy. And this episode is, like, the, the most tense I've been. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Where, where's Balance this on the, did quite well. Where's this on the list for you guys for, like, uh, is it still, like, t like one of the top shows of the season for you at this midpoint? This is probably top my top three. Yeah. Top three? Top okay, one. Top one? Okay. Probably top three for me, yeah. Okay. Just checking. So, for you, yeah. even though, um... You know, again, like I feel I, this is for me though, like the like the really cute or like 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 pleasant sound music that plays when a middle call is on. Like I just I still feel like that's I don't know. I kind of wish like they would push more of the creepy factor, like more of an eerie mm. like atmosphere where it's more like they're trying to like bait the slice of life stuff with like the happy thing. Mm -hmm. So at least for me, like I, th I think I'm the only one out here that thinks that way. But at least for me, like I wish they would have like gone hard into like the atmosphere, more of the creep the the music being more creepy, whereas I don't know. I, but I think I think you two, I think you two are like probably is, so I guess it's fine. I mean, yeah, it doesn't bother me either way. I could see where you're coming from and why you'd feel that way. I don't feel strongly one way or the other. For me, with Amilico, she is so headstrong, happy go lucky that I can't imagine like creepiness being something that she even like is aware of or understands. Yeah, she's almost yeah. too. I, I want to say she's dumb. But, you know, it's kind of to the point of yeah. she's naive. naive. And so yeah. something of that nature doesn't really impact her. Mm -hmm. So but either still, way, I, I totally still, get Still a creepy show. Still, like, my God, like, fucking Ricky, like, just, just get a shit on me. You, you and Lou, like, goddamn. 